Hello and welcome to the College Notebook Podcast. I'm your host Nadia and if you like your craft podcast with a little bit of gardening and creativity on the side, then this podcast is for you. Coming up on today's show is a look at what the first half of 2018 has in store for the those crafters among us and I delve into and lightly touch into the subject of creativity just a little bit more. So sit back, grab a cuppa and come and join me. Season two of the podcast is partly sponsored by the wonderful Ellie and Ada. Ellie and Ada produce artisan yarns and products for your maker life. You can find out more from Laura over on ellieandada.com. Now, if you're a new listener, come on in, have a nosy around the blog, Ravelry and social media. Get to know us a little bit more over on the Facebook group. And for returning listeners, it's lovely to have you all back again. It has been far too long. Thank you for joining in with the show and everything that you've done in 2017. And if you do have the time and you like the show, I would love it if you could pop over to iTunes and leave a review so that you can help this podcast reach even more craft loving people. Um, Also, if you could share the podcast on whatever social media you use and let others know what you think. Today's podcast is a little bit shorter. It's a solo cast from me with some important dates for your craft diary. And one of the reasons I wanted to have a chat to you guys is because so much has happened since the last episode. I don't know where to begin. This is take four. Would you believe it or not? I forgot how to record a podcast. Um, it has been that long. And um, there are some really important dates for your diary, so do grab a pen, pencil, have your phone beside you so that you can pop the dates into your calendar, anything like that, because I'm going to try and keep this down to the bare bones and get from January to May. So <laughs> let's see how this goes, shall we? So first off, in January, the there are two things that are kind of important. The first is Carol Feller's Mystery Knit Along. It's her bubble dash knit along and in the 10 years that Carol has been designing and having patterns out in the world, she has never run a mystery knit along. It's really interesting, it's going to be lots of fun and it's going to take place over on her Ravelry board, so that's the Stone Stitches group on Ravelry. If you want to find out more information on the actual bubble dash Cal, you can pop over to Ravelry, search bubble dash, and I will put links in the show notes of course. Carol is introducing four new colours for her newer yarn range and you will also have the option of getting early access to these colours in the shawl kits. The kits did go on sale in December. Um, Kit A ran out so I I think there are some more um, option A's that are available in the kit and they are over on stolenstitches.com under kits. If you want to find out more about the actual pattern itself that you know, she's willing to give away. It's a mystery knit along. you got to retain some mystery. Pop on over. There are four colours. Um, it has an approximate yardage for each colour and the uh, skeins that she actually used are up on Ravelry. You can see them there. Obviously, at the moment, if you buy the pattern, then you will get all the information that you need to actually do gauge and that kind of thing. Um, early access to the colours are through the kit only sales, they are through stolenstitches.com and the cal timing is um, the 20th of January is when the first clue comes out, the 27th is for clue 2 and the 3rd of February is clue 3. The final prize will be awarded on the 10th of February and that is a raffle drawing for the finished object in the group board. If you haven't joined in a cal of carols before, you will find a friendly group of knitters who are absolutely hilarious. Um, one or two happen to have the odd tipple, maybe a glass of wine while we're knitting. Um, and the fun is always housed on the board and it is always, always lots of fun. Um, I was actually surprised by the number of people who take part in the cals all year long and... Um, a lot, of the, a lot of them have actually realised that I never managed to finish anything. So th- for this cal, I think I'm just going to watch and try to finish everything that I have on the needles. Because um, I think this one might push me over. Um, I also have looked at all of the yarn that I own because it's now all in the craft room and I can see it and I need help. 
<laughs> so it's going to be kind of a fun year for me craft wise. All right, so do pop over, check that out. If you obviously you still have time in order to buy the kits and get them shipped to you no matter where you are in the world. Nua is a fabulous yarn. I talk about it all the time. And if you haven't managed to get your hands on a couple of skeins of it to give it a little bit of a squish, now is your chance. So you can check that out. The second piece of information that is happening in January is to do with the Irish Guild of Weavers, Spinners and Dyers. Um, every now and again, the Guild has workshops that uh, happen periodically. I think they've been going at once a month uh, towards the end of Dece December. Uh, but in January, there is the uh, dyeing workshop, which is run by Avon from the Dublin Dye Company. And if you want to find out more information about that or other events that the guilds are holding, you can pop over to their Facebook page. Everything does go live there on the, under their events. And also you can pop over to their website, which is www.weavespindye.ie. Um, they have an eye calendar just on the side where you can link it and import the dates to your own calendar. So as soon as this event goes live, it will pop up there, which is quite lovely, I think. Um, Yvonne will be running the Dublin Dye Workshop and that is on the 27th of January and that is being held in the Constant Knitter in Francis Street. Um, for booking and that kind of information, you can either contact Rosemary and Constant Knitter or you can uh, book directly through info at weavespindye.ie or again get in contact through any of their social media and the guild will forward it on to the right place where it should be. Um, like all of the workshops that are held by the Weaver Spinners and Dyers guilds, they have a reduced rate for people who are members and there is a rate for non-members. Uh, membership for the guild is at 20 euros for the year which we can all agree is really not that much and with that you are also availing of the right to borrow equipment and they have some amazing new equipment rental um, schemes and Alva is the wonderful committee member who is in charge of that. Uh, there is an Ashford um, Kiwi, there is a Lue, there are sample at Looms and there's a drum carter there that's available for rent as well and if you want to find out more about that you can pop over to weavespindye.ie. Um, the other thing that is happening uh, thanks to the guild is they have arranged um, for Amanda Hannaford to come on over and have two workshops in February and that is 20 February 24th and 25th so Saturday and Sunday and um, again they have a reduced mate, uh, rate for guild members and Amanda is having two intermediate spinning workshops and she is an amazing spinner if you want to know a little more about Amanda you can find her on mandycrafts.co.uk um, she is also on Facebook and Ravelry where she talks about teaching in Tibet and all of the spinning kind of dying expertise that she has is really clear there. So do pop over and get to know her a little bit better before she comes on over here. Um, if you want to know more about the Amanda workshops or the Dub and Dye workshops or the weaving workshops that will be held a little bit later in spring, you can sign up to the Guild newsletter. Um, they will be the people who kind of hear about these things first. And then, of course, follow them on Twitter and Facebook as well. And you will uh, see as soon as any of that stuff goes live. There is quite a lot of things happening, including their AGM in March. And if you do want to get involved with the guild and help keep the tradition of spinning and weaving and dyeing alive, then uh, get in contact. Uh, pop along to one of the regional meetings in your area um, and you can find out the dates and when and where over on the Facebook page or within the Guild group. All links, of course, will be in today's show notes. There will be a lot of links in today's show notes. <laughs> um, so that brings us right on to March, which is the AGM for the Guild. And um, one of the other things that I wanted to talk about, which we thought was a really good idea, was that a lot of people want to get involved with the Guild, but they were unsure how to do so. And it is, of course, possible to have a supporting membership with the guild. Um, that is where you're a member, but you're not necessarily active and doing anything. You want to support the tradition of crafts, but you can't get to a meeting or you're not really interested in equipment rental or anything like that. Uh, if you do want to do that, you can either buy the 20 euro membership that's available online or uh, get in contact uh, through info at weavespindye.ie. 
Now, we are moving along kind of rapidly to May. I have nothing in the diary at the moment for April. It does not mean that it is not happening. It just means that I haven't gotten to that area uh, yet. But in May, there are two uh, big things that are happening. On the May Bank Holiday weekend, there is Wollapalooza, which is happening in um, airfields in Dublin. And um, it's kind of like the Sheep and Wool Festival. You kind of know what they are. Um, so Wollapalooza is happening then and there will be more information going live about that. It is the May Bank Holiday weekend so do put a date in your diary because I know loads of people especially with the kids in school and confirmations communes and all that kind of things that happen um, in Ireland around then it gets a little bit messy so do keep an eye out for that as soon as I have more information that will be going out um, through the Guild of Weavers, Spinners and Dyers it'll be going out uh, on College Notebook um, Twitter account, Facebook page, that kind of thing I'm really excited about that because it sounds wonderful um, and of course which brings us to the mother of all yarn festivals Woolen is happening yay, at the end of May and if you haven't heard me talk about it where have you been? Have you not, have you not been listening to the show? Uh, Woolen is happening on uh, May 25th and it is happening that weekend. It is being held in the a ASLAA, uh, which is conveniently located next to Dublin Airport. Um, and the workshop tickets did go on sale prior to Christmas. There are very few places left, so do pop over and nab one if you are thinking um, of taking a brioche class or with uh, Nancy Merchant. Um, there is a fantastic lineup of teachers that uh, is coming and we are very, very excited. Um, we have the likes. I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of who is coming to show. So there is the wonderful Nancy Merchant, Isabel Kramer, Carol Feller, Justina Lareska, Willie Wormhead, Carrie Westerman, uh, Louisa Harding, Kate Davies and Nathan Taylor. There will also of course be a wonderful lineup of vendors and that kind of thing. And the other piece of news that I have for you, which I didn't actually think would happen but it did, uh, Woolen is the only festival that you will be able to meet with me in person this year. I am not going to any other uh, yarn festivals, um, none in the UK, none in uh, America. I'm just focusing very much on uh, writing this year. There is a couple of things that I want to get out, which kind of started with like NaNoWriMo in November. And in order to do that, I have to let some other things go. So because Bullen is happening in Dublin, uh, it's kind of easier and convenient for me. But also I've known these ladies for a very long time and I love what they do. I love the community that has built up because of them. And I really, really want to support them. Uh, Bullen starts on Friday the 25th of May and it ends on Sunday the 27th of May. There are workshops, fringe events and then obviously the marketplace as well. You can find out everything that's happening over on their website. It's woolin.com. Um, if you want to figure out if you can get there, get around Dublin, visit it while you're here. Of course you can. It's conveniently located to Dublin Airport. You can fly in for one day, visit the marketplace, take your classes and then not have to worry about accommodation costs, which I think is great on top of your flights. Um, it's also easily accessible um, from uh, the port if you want to take the ferry over and from the city centre as well. All information for that if you want to know more is on their website in the latest blog posts about accommodation and getting there and beyond. A big kind of round of applause to Ink and Crafty for that. Um, there are the normal kind of FAQs, they're there too. And uh, the other piece of information is that the general admission ticket sales go on sale in early 2018 so if you want to be one of the first to know when they actually go live then um, sign up to their newsletter if you haven't done that already and make sure that you're following them on Facebook Instagram Twitter which, whichever one you use yourself that's convenient but just make sure that you're following them so that uh, you can see it as soon as the updates go live and um, what I'm hearing from the craft community is that it's going to be um, kind of a busy, <laughs> a busy weekend. So uh, do make sure that you can pick up your tickets. And I think I'm, I'm, I say this with an I think that there will also be tickets available um, on the door. But if you're flying here and that kind of thing, just make sure that you um, have uh, tickets that have been pre-booked in advance. It would make everything a little bit easier. There is a full FAQ on their site and um, you can keep your eye out there for vendor lists too. And wow, I managed to get that out in 15 minutes. 
the last rundown took me 40. <laughs> so you can imagine how much I rambled. Um, the other piece of information that I have for all of you lovely people is that um, there is a new Cottage Notebook Facebook group and that got started because of the number of people who signed up for the writing challenge in January. Um, the writing challenge is really just about you finding time to write in your day, finding time for you. That could be journal thoughts, that could be uh, Facebook captions, it could be Instagram captions, it could be anything that you want to work on yourself. Um, there's a lot of people out there that I know that write that don't do anything with it but if you want a safe place to share it then you can uh, join us in the Facebook group. Uh, I just started it yesterday so you can tell I'm recording this on the 2nd of January and um, week one is uh, where you challenge yourself to write 100 words per day, week two is 200 words per day, week three is 300 words per day. You can see where I'm going this, can't you? Um, so it's a five week thing so hopefully by week five you have then broken into your new habit of writing 500 words per day. Week one is focused on finding your triggers if you have any um, to focus on your writing habits, what words you use all the time, what are your crutch words, that kind of thing. Um, I know myself when I've been writing about craft and f the last year and a half or whatever um, I have been using the same words over and over and over again to describe yarn and it kind I, I realized that I was like I really need some new words I need to talk about schemes in a new and inventive way because I really do love craft but I also like to write and I'm trying to find a way to marry the two so the writing challenge was one and I can't believe the number of you who who joined me for that so thank you so much and um, pop over to the Facebook group um, in the Facebook group, we will also be discussing um, podcasts and um, blog posts and other things that I'm doing. So uh, it isn't just for the challenge, but at the moment, it happens to be that the chatter is mostly in and around that. There are some wonderful people in the group. It's also a chance for you to chat to one another. I know you haven't really had the platform to be able to do that before. And it's one of the things that you mentioned. I just... I'm a little bit apprehensive about having yet another Facebook group. Um, there are so many now and it's hard to keep up with everybody. Ravelry was that kind of central place where everybody was all the time. And I found that I use my phone more and more and because I use my phone more and more, I don't use Ravelry as much because it's harder to use on my phone. It's harder to stay in contact with the forums. So generally what happens with Ravelry is I log in once or twice a week when I'm actually working on other projects and then I run through the forums really quickly. And then um, I found I wasn't actually able to hold a conversation with people. So that's kind of been happening on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. Um, so the Facebook group kind of happened naturally and I do like that it's a closed group. It's a safe space for you to share, ask for help, um, anything like that. So you can pop in there. The other piece of information is that um, in case you haven't been catching up with any of the Instagram lives, one of the things that I'm asked constantly or people reach out for me constantly is to ask questions about social media and blogging and that kind of thing. So I'm putting together an ebook. It will be out kind of the end of January. So you can find that there. It's just going to detail all the questions that people ask me generally and all the things that I wish that I knew about 12 months ago. <laughs> so um, it's just a little handy ebook. So it might cut down on some of the emails that I get. Um, so you, you can try that first and then if you're still stuck you can give me a ring um, or you can get in contact uh, via the website and Instagram. I do a lot of freelance writing now I guess that's where most of my energy goes um, and of course I'm still helping out with Carol and uh, unfortunately I did have to step back from uh, working in This Is Knit so you can't meet me in person there anymore either. Um, I mostly work online. I've had to do that because of some changes at home and that kind of thing so I've had to make some adaptations for that. So it's been a very busy year in 2017 and I really do want to say thank you to absolutely everyone. Um, all of my journey on Instagram when I had um, focused all my creativity on taking images, captions, that kind of thing and 2017 was kind of a year for exploring, exploring what I like, what I wanted to get better at and where I wanted to fit in in this amazing community. 
and I figured out that throughout the year that what really makes me happy is writing and I want to explore that more I'm going to be doing that over on medium um the cottage notebook will be of course the center for craft and my first love and <laughs> um, it will there will be more interviews with dyers and designers and writers um and gardeners throughout 2018 um you guys are absolutely wonderful with getting in contact and helping me with that the next episode uh, of the podcast will be going live next week and it is with the wonderful carrie westerman where she joins us on the show to talk about this thing of paper it's an amazing podcast i could easily chat to carrie for another hour um keep an eye out for that as well and there will be an interview with dyers uh, and designers on the blog um, on Fridays as normal. Um, but the amount that I actually blog on the blog will be um, reduced. I'm looking at maybe one or two blog posts per week. Um, just so that it's more defined and it's the information that you want. I also want it to be of good quality. So in order for that to happen, I need to reduce it a little bit more. And there was a few of you who asked about um, audio recordings of my blog ca- of my blog posts, and as much as I would love to do that, I just it takes so much time and effort to do the podcasts and to get these out on air that I can't imagine trying to do my blog posts as well. My blog and the podcast are um, they were hobbies for me, and they very quickly became more than that and now I find myself having to work full time between um, the blog and um, being a VA and my writing so I'm going to try and keep up the quality that we have as best I can and um, if it is taking time away from me being able to work then maybe I might launch a Patreon but I have been very hesitant about moving to get to that kind of thing if you want to support the blog or the podcast you can do that through coffee it's kind of like um an online tip jar uh so you can buy me a coffee over there um you can find that link on my blog or podcast notes um i didn't really want to have a lot of sponsorship on the blog or podcast either um because i wanted it to be a pleasant enjoyable experience for people who popped over to the blog to catch up or who joined into the podcast so um the podcast isn't partly sponsored by laura from ellie and ada ada because i work with her quite a lot and she has always been so pleasant and wonderful to do that so i thought it was kind of a nice collaboration uh you might remember her as the yarn dyer who uh took part in the hops and claws mystery um and oh while we're talking about that Gillian uh who was the designer from the Hops and Claws uh knit along is uh also releasing her latest designs they went live end of December beginning of January so you can pop over there as well um and she designs as Mina loves designs so hopefully you guys are full of information you are about to finish up with your cuppa you're going to log over to the Facebook group. You're going to join in now. You're going to say hi. You're going to introduce yourself. You can add your links to your own blog and podcast in the thread. And we'll give you a warm welcome. I promise. So until next week, you can find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram as The Cottage Notebook. And you can uh, find all of the previous podcasts over on cottagenotebook.ie. Chat soon. Bye-bye.